uh, Max's Kansas City, uh, CBGB's, and A7. Those are the three clubs I like. Because we used to go to Max's. I used to play Max's. And after Max's, we used to play Max's, we'd go to A7. You know? And I booked myself on that weekend at CBGB's. So I toured New York City. You know? That was like, I like, you know? Toured New York City. That was cool. There was one on Staten Island with the SSD control. That was a great one. CBG, uh, 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 GB, GBH at Gilda Sleeves. That was a good one. Uh, I, man, I've been to so many fucking shows. I mean, look at this here. I got a fucking piece of CBGB stage over here. The piece of CBGB stage over here. I got them marked and everything. I had more of them, but I had to throw them out because they had mites. One day I'm looking, I'm saying, what the fuck is that? Mites, I threw all the fucking things out. <laughs> this also was another great show right here. Let's see, it says, the New York, this is 81, 82. It says, the New York BYO proudly brings to the kids an all-ages show at the Sync Club on 3rd Street and Avenue C. Six bands, yes, six, on August 6th. It was The Mob, No Labels, Agnostic Front, Ring of Fire, Corrosion of Conformity, and a special guest from D.C. I think that was uh, uh, Money Trek, right? And back then, I was such a fucking mafia guy with the scene. I loved it. I was so involved. They put it over here. And as Vinny says, if you don't come, you're mocked. Well, Roger was my partner. You know, he was a, a great a friend of mine in the pit. That's how I met him in the pit. Uh, there was Willie No Edge, this guy. With, he used to have a mullet, and, a, and he used to dance with a cigarette in his mouth, and everybody would, like, dance around him and cheap shot him. But Willie stood in there. Willie stood in there, and it, I like Willie. He passed away, but he was a great guy. I see his brother, Jan. He came to my birthday party, uh, and I see him every now and again, and I tell him the same thing every time I see him. Hey, Jan, how you doing? You know, I still like your brother, Willie, better than I like you. Jimmy Coletti. Uh, oh, God. Three hardcore drummers. I like the kid in Madball now. He's he, he's good. He's a, he's a good one. Uh, uh, Jesus Christ! I don't know who the. Uh, these are tough questions. Uh, Al from D Control. I liked him. Uh, the, the the minor threat guy Brian. I liked him. He was a good guitar player. I liked his chord structure. Al. He was horrible like me. So I, I could get with him, you know, like, you know, and I just liked his presence, you know, he was cool. Uh, a lot of great guitar players. Dave from Ultraviolence was a good guitar player. Uh, Nunzio from, uh, you know, he, he, your, your guy, Nunzio, he was, he was a great guitar player. He still is a great guitar player. Yeah, uh, the, the last show at the, when CBGB was closing, Poison Idea with the Pig. I'm going to see them soon, you know, as a matter of fact, we played with, well, a festival with them, but I didn't get a chance to see them because I was on stage, I get off, they're on stage, but yeah, you know, the poison idea. Uh, let's see, that's a question for Cousin Joey because he's a, and I'll miss out on somebody like, uh... Hey, like, Yalo, you want to feed him some bands? Oh. Well, not nice. <laughs> All right, well, there's like, well, well you, you talk regions. Yeah, I don't you, know if there's know. anybody, that, like, you know, any, any, anything you've done, seen. Take Offense, Naysayer, uh, uh, Cold Side, uh, you know, the list goes on. How was that, Gallo? Good. That wasn't bad. Power, hiding inside, fascist attitude. It all comes from the victim of pain, but I don't know why those three, they roll together, and I have a lot of great memories with them. I've been playing the power since the 70s in Max's Kansas City when I was in my other band, Eliminators. So I've been playing the 70s, the 80s, 90s, 2000, 2010. Woo! Wow, almost six decades it'll be.
well, they got Lombardi's down the block, right on the corner. You know, it's the first pizzeria in America. And then there's Frankie's, he's got the squares, he's good, you know. And then downstairs, right in my building, I gotta walk two feet in a snowstorm with slippers I could get, uh, you know. We were playing with, uh, it was, wow, 83, I think, somewhere in there. And uh, it, it was Gnostic Front and Depp Before Dishonor, Mark, uh, Mark's band. And uh, I just did the stage dive. And big, I ran off the stage, right? I practically had my footprint on it. And Big Rob went like this, because I, I used to make launch. I used to make, but he threw me up. I wanted to go out. You know, like over the shoulder, but he threw me up and I went boom, right by the monitor that was right there. And I hit my head right on the monitor that was hanging down and I tore my head open where I scalped myself. Like I took the scalp out. See, like a little balding in here because I got, I have no, they had to take a chunk of my flesh out. You know, but this is real right here. See that? Look at that. That's real. That ain't fucking fake, man. That's, that's not a wig. That's real.